Today I'm going to be replacing my exhaust gaskets on my 92 Ford. It's a 4.9 liter inline six. And uh, not only because the exhaust is leaking and it sounds like crap, but I'm starting to get a lot of bucking again. I had the issue before and I did the computer fix and uh, that seemed to clear it up for the most part. But uh, here lately the exhaust leak's getting worse and the worse the exhaust leak gets the more it's bucking so I have a suspicion that maybe it's causing a venturi effect and sucking air into the exhaust and possibly flaking out the O2 sensor or something but either way I gotta fix it so hopefully it takes care of the problem if not I'll just have to continue chugging away and figure it out. First thing that needs to be done when doing this is you gotta get the upper intake off which is the goes together right here. You need to get all your vacuum lines off unhook all the uh, wiring. Um, the EGR will have to be disconnected up there. You know your air intake. Um, anything else you find that's obstructing you. Keep track of where everything goes if you're not real familiar with your engine. So that way you don't have any issues getting it back together. Here's what it looks like with all the wiring and vacuum lines pulled out of the way. Once you get them all detached you can usually drape them over the other side of the motor. I pulled the uh, heater hoses off because they just I should have done that in the beginning because they just kind of screw you the whole time so I got them out of the way. Now and I'm going to move on to the uh, fuel fittings in the back and that's the last thing I have to disconnect before uh, trying to get the manifold off. A couple things you might want to remember is this is a bracket, it's a support bracket. Keep that hooked up until you get your uh, EGR disconnected because you usually put a lot of force on that to get that off and you don't want to put any more stress on the aluminum manifold than you have to. Um, now the fun part comes. My exhaust leaks back there coming out the top. Um, I think I've done this before doing a whole head gasket and I think this time I'm pulling the fender well out and doing it because life's too short to lay across the engine and stuff. I was in my 20s when I did that one. I was sore afterwards so I think I'm going to go with the wheel well option. Got my inner fender out as you can see. I'd much rather work from this perspective rather than laying on top of the motor trying to feel around and find the bolts and do all that crap trying to get the things on there. It's worth the extra little bit of hassle of taking the fender well out than uh, trying to do it that way. It's actually less time in the long run. If you have a truck from the Midwest you'll probably notice taking the fender well off that you'll break off a bunch of bolts and uh, not even have somewhere to attach them to anymore when you put it back together but it's just the way it is I guess just an old beater truck. I managed to get the entire intake manifold off something I don't re didn't remember from the first time I did this years back is I gotta take this uh, alternator bracket off but in order to do that you gotta pull off the alternator and the uh, air pump so that's kind of slowed me down a little bit but it's a far cry from the last time I did it. it took me about 25 minutes to get the everything off so as opposed to hours it took before so definitely taking the fender well out is the way to go something I noticed when I got this thing taken off was that the piece PVC valve is the original one it appears and there's it's pretty much no spring left to it at all so I'm definitely going to replace that. I notice there's a lot of oil dripping down out of here too so I'm going to make sure that's all everything's tightened up and new and 
that could be a contributor to my bucking situation I'm having now. So you always find something when you're tearing into things. I managed to get the bracket off, so I'm good to go now. All my manifolds are disconnected, and uh, I'm good to go. This has been <clears throat> more of a job than I remembered it before, even. Seems like maybe it's just because I'm getting old or something, but um, now I'm just going to start going in reverse and putting it back together.